Hi, I'm Rain Zabin, and um, welcome to another one of my episodes. For me, I have worked 40 years to assemble an identity, right? To know who I am in comparison to the world around me in comparison to others where do i stand what are my titles what are my quirks what are what are the things i do best what are the things i don't uh what am i good at you know um how do i matter to the world how do i not matter am i lovable am i not when i do this i'm lovable when i do this i don't feel lovable um I'm not good enough yet, or I'm good enough here, but not here. And it's like a constantly, it's been 40 years in the making of me. So in other words, I was building from like all of us, we were building our, our identities from a very young age and especially from zero to seven. That's where we were building. We were starting to learn who we are. So this is what I meant by identity in the last video. It's what we've acquired and accumulated to put on a suit, like an act, like a performance of what I think is acceptable and what is what isn't, right? Knowing where to put the brakes and when, but none of it was really me. Maybe aspects of it, However, none of it was truly me because the true me wasn't defined by anything from the external world, okay? So what do I mean by that? This is exciting stuff because it's just coming now. This wasn't the kind of video I was thinking of, of doing. The beginning part was and it's evolving into something else. And so what I'm seeing now is, is that the, the, the structure in which I fabricated who I am around was very far off from who my essence and who I actually am, right? The es essence of me, my being, right? But it was only for the external world, right? I have to work this kind of job to make this kind of money. I have to do this. Like this was all just things come rushing in as information according to my world paradigm, right? Because then I noticed that Different cultures have different beliefs and different systems and different religions have different beliefs and race. Right? So everyone's acquiring from their own experiences the, the, the movie that we're living in, each individual. And accordingly, I'm acting out a character role, right? And now I'm divorcing that identity, which feels scary because I have never... No, don't say never. I haven't experienced my essence without this identity on top, covering over my essence. I haven't experienced my essence. I don't know if this essence is acceptable or not, because when I tried from zero to seven to be my essence, there was judgment, right? There was, that's wrong, that's right, right? So there's a fear now when I'm going to divorce divorce that identity I built up to go back to my essence there's a fear there that's stopping me from just going into my essence divorcing is very hard because how hard have you worked on building that personality for you that identity you worked so hard so hard so of course it's understandable how hard it is to just let it go, to divorce it, to separate from it, to say, thank you so much. You served me well. I let you go now because I want to be in my essence. I want to be, I want to be the chi. I want to feel my own chi. I want to be in my own energy. I want to be in my own identity, whatever that is. I want to be my truth. I want to get to know me whoever that me is outside of the junk I put around myself that kept me on the uh, break. I keep breaking. Like I didn't know who I am. Right. And so I'm sharing this so that you can give yourself the freedom to bid that version of you goodbye and to be okay with it because it did take years of your life, whether you're 20, 18, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 70, it doesn't matter. That's how, how much time you've spent building upon that identity. And now you're about to let it go. And, and because of this crazy energy shift that's taking place, old identities, right? The human identity that was formed is, is leaving. It's leaving. And it's the goodbye that's like ah, shaking apart. Like, who will I be without you? Who will I be without you? I worked so hard to build this character up for the movie I'm in. Who will I be without you? Who am I? Who am I? What is my truth? And that's what we're experiencing right now. We are in the phase of the fear of letting that go because we worked so hard to protect ourselves, to build it, to be pleasant with others, you know, to like just everything so that we can belong, right? And now it's leaving. And now it's leaving. And that's the pain. And it's okay to feel the pain. You have every right to feel the pain, right? It's saying goodbye to a dear, dear friend saying goodbye to somebody that stuck by you and took care of you for this long. And now you don't need that person anymore because you need to find out who you truly are. The being, not your humanness, your being. And exploring that more about yourself and allowing it to blossom like a flower. Let it have its time because it hasn't been allowed to exist and now it is and now it is right so just let it be let it do what it needs to do right because in that is true freedom that is how you allow yourself to have that true freedom okay so i needed to explain this a little bit deeper so that you could understand why it's so hard to let go right of that old identity or that identity that was built for years of your life so that you could actually have the freedom to discover and self-realize, which is a big, big new word, it's self-realize. Who am I really outside of the character I have played for all those years, right? Share in the comments, how did this make you feel? What insights did you receive? Go to my video that I that I uh, I'll have the link up here or on the sides or wherever I'm gonna put the link. Go back to that link and understand. There's a tool at the end of the video to show you what you can do to be more in the flow of releasing and exploring your new essence, the essence that you are remembering it, and. Um, Please reach out with any questions you have. I'm very open to responding. Um, questions ignite so much within me because I get all these answers. Um, so if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. I know a lot of you send me privately and thank you so much for that. Um, you can also send me privately. And uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe, press like, share this, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.